Hi, I'm Cheryl Nelson, natural disaster preparedness expert. I've partnered with Cummins to make sure that you and your family are prepared for any type of natural disaster. So ask yourself that question, are you and your family prepared? Now is really a good time to start thinking about this because hurricane season officially starts on June 1st. Whether it's hurricanes or any type of natural disaster, you got to make sure that you and your family are prepared. Think about what happened in 2017. We had all kinds of activity. We had Hurricane Harvey where 300,000 people lost power. Hurricane Maria where 80% of Puerto Rico lost power. And Hurricane Irma, 16 million people lost power. So think long term. Also find out if you are in a flood zone. If you are, get flood insurance and do it today because there was a 30 day wait period for that policy to take effect if you are in that flood zone and want flood insurance. And even if you're not in a flood zone, you can still look into getting it. Also, what about a backup power source? I recommend having a home standby generator like the Cummins Quiet Connect series. What's great about this is there's no disruption to your life. It turns on automatically the second power goes out and stays on for the duration of your power outage hooks up directly to your home, to your propane tank or your natural gas line. It ensures vital devices like sump pumps, AC and medical equipment stay on and stay working. You'll find these generators in hospitals, police stations and even at U.S. landmarks. And did you know that you can lose thousands of dollars from mold remediation or hotel stays and spoiled food? So keep that in mind. So what else can you do? You want to make sure everybody has a disaster kit. Have one both at home and in your vehicle. Some necessities include canned goods and non-perishable foods, bottled water, batteries, flashlights, a NOAA weather radio. Also a paper map. You want to have important documents in a waterproof bag and also on a flash drive, a blanket and a first aid kit. That's all good stuff to have. Think about other people in your life. What about seniors, children? and pets. Make sure you have important things for them too, like medication. At least a two-week supply of medication is good for everybody to have. And then for seniors in particular, I recommend a medical ID bracelet. You can store all their information on a flash drive, which is right there on their wrist. And what about kids? For kids, you want to have a favorite toy or a stuffed animal. That way they'll feel secure. And for your pets, a picture of you and your pet together to prove ownership, vaccination records, toys, and pet food, a carrier or a leash to make sure everybody is ready to go. Now back to generators. If you do have a portable generator, make sure you practice everything safely. So never run a generator inside a garage, basement, or a deck. You want to put that outside a good distance away from your home. It runs on gasoline, so store that gasoline carefully. That's why I recommend the home standby generator like the Cummins Quiet Connect because there's no gasoline. It hooks up directly. Just check it, make sure there's no debris around it, and run it every now and then to make sure it's running smoothly. For more information and tips, visit Cummins.com slash weather prep.